Hello everyone, welcome to S3 Bubble. So in this video we're going to go through the new updates for the S3 Bubble desktop app version 1.0.8. So with the new update you can simply drag multiple videos into the um, drag section here. We can select our renditions for which we want to encode. We can then go to the next screen and um, it's going to generate a poster for us um, halfway through. Now here's where we can also add proxy encryption. So to do that we'll just go over to our WordPress site and the proxy URL. We'll just grab our URL, okay. You can just simply come in, paste that in there save and continue okay so I'll quickly select my output settings for my AWS bucket and folder okay so as you can see I've selected my bucket and I've selected my CloudFront distribution now for folder name it's going to actually use the name of the video okay so let's go ahead and just click submit so we'll just give this a couple of seconds while it uploads all the videos and um, we've increased our upload speed by up to 60% with our new uploader um, so it's changing people's upload time from uh, four hours to under an hour which is great um, so I will just let you show what happens when one loads so this is just this is encoded to HLS it's encrypted it and now it's uploading so once it's uploaded it will give you a code that you can simply take here so once you've got your code you can just head over to your WordPress site go to post add new okay and then obviously you need the S3 bubble plugin installed but then in any any block you can simply put in HTML or you could use the SD bubble but you can simply just paste in the HTML anywhere oh and then let's just give it a title uh, desktop app publish okay now if we go and take a look at our video you'll see we've got a video with our um, poster that's generated for us halfway through we can click play we've got our BIF thumbnails we've got our renditions qualities and speed and we can change everything so that's how easy it was and this is also protected from people being able to download your media okay so that was how simple it was to use the desktop app now that's the main functionality for this version is you can simply drag in multiple um, videos and then just let it upload each video individually and you can go off and just um, let it all happen in the background again we've concentrated on um, the upload speeds uh, you will now sh we've taken away any limits so you can now upload anything three gig and above we've um, successfully managed to upload three four gig movies with no issues at all um, but any issues please let us know um, and then we'll obviously take a look at it for you uh, but there's some really cool functionality with this now so go ahead you can either grab your code you can just grab your um, video code here and then you can just drag everything into the uploader okay and oh uh, also one thing I wanted to note that I'll just wait till all this is uploaded and I'll show you um, I'll just pause the video while all this finishes okay so as you can see it's uploaded all our videos successfully so that's great we can just add all these to our website now for the different pages and the other thing I just wanted to show you is if we did the same but let's just choose uh, one video and but you can do it with both videos but let's just do it with one let's go through the process and um, we won't add proxy encryption for this but we're going to go to local okay so you can upload to AWS or you can actually save it locally now to your computer okay so I'm just going to select my folder and output name that I want to uh, output the files to and I'm just going to output it to my desktop okay okay so as you can see I'm outputting it to my desktop and it's just got a folder name of desktop app update tutorial so let's click save and continue and submit so what this is doing now is it's doing the same thing it's going through the process it's encoding your media um, but it's not going to upload it to AWS it's just going to save it as a folder on your desktop for you to be able to use or upload to AWS manually okay um, now I'll just give it a second for this to encode the media okay so as you can see our jobs finished successfully but what we can do now is if we go over to our folder you can see where it's uploaded we can then go to our master uh, m3 u8 file and you can right click and then you can open with s3 bubble okay now this will open up your video you'll have your BIF thumbnails, your quality rates and everything. So This is a way that you can just open files locally on your computer and then check them before you want to upload or you can obviously in a previous tutorial we show you how you can actually add captions and subtitles at this stage and then be able to edit them before you upload. So there's multiple uses for being able to actually save it to your desktop. Now the player will um, open up uh, M38 files, MOV files and MP4 files. So that's just another piece of great functionality coming. Uh, well, not coming, it's in this release. Um, so yeah, there's just some updates. Um, any questions, uh, speak to us on our live chat on the, on the uh, S3Bubble website. Thanks.